After World War II, a team of young Australian migration officers was sent to Europe to interview post-war refugees to gauge their suitability as migrants to Australia. These men were called on to make very difficult decisions, as Harold describes. Well, I've never forgotten a, a, a Polish couple. The, the children had gone uh, a year before to, to Australia, had settled in well, and, but it was, uh, it was revealed during the, and they were on a, a landing permit arrangement to go to be reunited with their, with, with their son and his family in Australia. But it was established that the father had tuberculosis, and it was active, and the uh, uh, conclusion was that he, his lifespan was, was, was limited. Uh, and I, they, I, I interviewed them and I said, well, you, can, you can't go. They said, well, why can't we go? And then I said, perhaps mother might be allowed to go and uh, I contacted uh, Mr Greenhouse in, in, in Cologne and uh, he agreed after consultation with Australia that, that uh, the mother could go but the father couldn't go. Uh, so I re-interviewed, I interviewed the father, told him what the situation was, I interviewed the mother and told her the situation. Then I interviewed them again uh, together and I said, well, now you have to decide. I said, mother does have a future if she goes, but father, you know your situation. And they said, Mr Grant, you decide for us. And here am I, 27, playing God, deciding for this lovely couple. I've never forgotten them. and. Uh, I said, well, mother ought to go to give her a chance. And she went, and for a number of years later, uh, uh, I, I uh, received cards from that family, from her and from her children. And then the father died within six months of that interview. Also, while in post-war Europe, Harold was asked to star in a government film about the refugee selection process, a film called Mike and Stephanie that raised a few eyebrows at the time and for many years after. There were problems in Australia, a feeling that we were too loose in our screening arrangements, allowing undesirables in. Uh, newspapers like... like uh, the Bulletin were caustic in their criticism of Corwell. So uh, a decision was taken. Uh, they'd make a documentary on our screening processes just to demonstrate how effective we were and the problems that we were encountering, but what we were doing. Uh, so a documentary maker, uh, Ronald Maslin Williams, with a, with a photographer, Reg Pierce, and they were, I think they were given, this, allocated the sum of $5,000 and they were told to go and make a documentary. Uh, I, w I was notified uh, and how it came about was that they worked out uh, with the assistance of IRO, a Ukrainian family that had been separated by the war, then reunited and they decided they'd like to go to Australia. And uh, Greenhouse said to me, you're going to be the migration officer. Now, it's going to be a proper interview. You may or may not accept the family. Um, and we went to Leipheim, uh, which was a small, there was a, there was a children's uh, village there and the, 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 the screening uh, and the filming took place there in, in relation to the interview. They were an extremely nice family. Uh, I, I went through the process uh, uh, you, have you ever been in trouble with the police, members of a political party, 
uh, why are you going to Australia? Why have you taken so long to make up your mind about Australia? And I, I was quite happy with the family. And, I, and what made me more than happy was because I dealt with similar cases. I'd been working for 10 months interviewing by then, and I knew the pattern. And I knew that uh, IRA would have been quite stringent in their own pre-selection measures to make sure that the family uh, that would be presented would be okay. It was, was two odd years before the film itself actually was released. They, they went to Australia, I think about a little uh, around March 1950, and the, the film was not released until 52. It was shown to a group, group of uh, parliamentarians. Uh, they objected to it. They objected to the severity of the, uh, of the interview. I came in, I understand, for a lot of criticism that I was too severe, that I was unfeeling uh, in my attitude. The family was tense. They were worried, am I going to be accepted or not? But I was also tense. Uh, I, 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 I was on film and uh, I think I was more worried, uh, if I might say so, uh, than, than, than they were. But the consequences in Australia was it was never released commercially and also uh, time had passed. Uh, we wanted to introduce the uh, g uh, assisted German passage scheme uh, and it was introduced. We had a German, uh, sister German passage scream agreement in, in August 52, I think, if I recall correctly, concluded. And so they felt they didn't want any of this to rebound and, and, uh, and, and hinder.